morning. <laughs> Hello and welcome to my daily vlog of life on our beef and arable farm here in South Yorkshire. You all right? Yes? Yes? Um, yeah, let's see what we get up to. Jeez, look at these. I fed you some meal. I think you're ready for some more, aren't you? Um, if you like this sort of thing, then remember to press like and subscribe. Um, you are hungry, aren't you? You've got plenty of grass. You've got plenty of grass. Andy will fetch you some meal in a minute. Things first, I'm going to jump on the daff. Um, looks like Andy's already here. No, Connor today is feeling ill, so hopefully... Oh, oh. Hopefully it feels better than my head. Um, yeah, right, we're gonna get this um, get this sorted. I'm all loaded and we've just been saying about Mick and the party. Because I haven't seen Andy since the party. He just like went from Mr. Uh, Oxford Chef, full of joy, yeah, to, to Mr. <laughs> Gone. So I'm off. Andy's off on the TM. He's gonna get a mix done. I'll see him in a bit. Going past Ripper Farm Services, looking busy. Back into the yard now. So Andy and my dad should have finished feeding up. And look at that, we got some blue skies for once. Yes! It's coffee time. Andy's just pulling the straw blower up. Shifting a few cattle out now, putting them in a different pen. So we may need this one for some new ones. One does not want to leave. Go on. Get on. Oi, 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 oi. Why don't you want to leave? Go on. That's it. That's it. Oh, he's all washed out. We just moved some stuff around. I think the plan is Andy's going to go mowing with the big 215. Big treat for Andy. Um, and I'm going to take. Um, a sprayer over to Cowgills to do some um, some repair work on it. So um, yeah, we'll head over there. I think bale has been dropped off. I'm sure, we'll find my dad and Andy down here putting the uh, mowers on dry for here. But if it don't happen, we'll have to be silage, won't it? But we're going to really try and make it into here. It should be really well dead. So it should dry out a lot faster than if we'd have cut it like a month before. Mm, can we get in four days? It, yeah, it'd be tight, but we'll try his best. So rear mower is on. He's getting all excited. Oh yeah. <laughs> Dad's just reversing out the mowers now. Beast. Looks good with that in the background. You excited, Andy? Really? Love mowing, don't you? I thought you do love mowing. Yeah. Best job. Up on the roof now. Pop in the. Uh, well, trying to pop it on. Just checking the mower at the front. So I can't set off yet because I need these to get the six nine going because. Um, I'm guessing whoever's pulled it in here has um, not noticed that part of my GPS stuff has been left on. So, or the box has been left on for the sprayer or something along them lines. And it's totally flat, 100% flat, not a thing there. So, it'll probably take some time to charge this up. And he's fetched it into position. We'll open this up. We'll use the uh, TM to do it. And he's getting off with the beast. better with triples <laughs> maybe next year eh it's gonna leave that charging up on six nine okay I'll catch tiny fun in there better take the sign back down the house before it gets dusty although me and Mr B we dropped it well no I'm saying me and Mr B it was me who dropped it and I just oh I feel so you know like when you got something and you like want to keep it good 
Whereas like Nomic, I don't want to drill any holes in it because um, it might damage it. And then so I tied it up in a particular way and then tried to take it down on the evening of the party and uh, managed to drop it. But uh, yeah, it's not done too much damage, but I just wanted to get it, keep it proper pristine. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I've got it started. That's good. That's good. I like that. Dad's off out in the lorry now, so if he does come back, we're going to need a pen with some hay in it. So that's my plan now, just to go and uh, drop a bale of hay in the feeder. Right, so it's all nicely bedded up by Andy earlier. I'll put this bale of hay in, cut the bands. We did a, I need to pump this tyre up because this is a bit low. And then we're going to get on the road, or down the road, or the road, whatever you want to say, we're getting off on. I was just inspecting the mess. <laughs> so this is this is cracked. So we're gonna um, jack it up, grind it, weld it, get it all sorted, eh? Would it be like a new one? Alex is getting his earth on now. Took the battery off. Yeah. Let's be better humans. <laughs> What's all that about? Uh, some last one we're making Alright, we're fashion yeah. brand. Hot in that. I'm not going to show Alex's work today because it's really difficult to get in and I don't want people to judge him on this work. No. He's really good at it, but this is really difficult. She said to. Oh, no, stop. No, no, no. Did we use that? No. Aww. We didn't, did we? No. No, you need it your phone no. out this. No. No. Papa Watsi, Papa Watsi, Papa Watsi. Had me um, getting high chairs down from the uh, attic for baby. So um yeah, it's nice to see the kids and um, Becky out the farm. And now I better think about probably doing some feeding up. Andy's partway through doing the mowing, so he should be done later this evening. It's time to lift the shed and let's get some cattle fed. Although my TM's not in here. Oh yeah, it is down there. Can't see it on the camera. That does a problem. Trouble. She's there. Things through a little phone screen. Um, that's my, I don't need glasses, I promise. I promise. Um, yeah, so we'll get the bucket on, we'll start feeding some cows. So we're on it. Um, I know that some of the arable boys are combining today. So maybe tomorrow we might be on the straw. Being a total idiot. Um, so I've gone on autopilot driving down here, thinking about something else, about, yeah, something something I need to respond to in an email and then I've fed this pen which is for the new ones so now I'm gonna to have to shovel all that out back into the bucket I could have just like not videoed this part and then nobody would have knew maybe that's what I ought to have done anyway we all make mistakes we're all idiots aren't we sometimes and that's what I've just been right now so I'm paying for it though because I'm gonna to have to shovel it all out by hand anyway I've done that job I've had my gym workout for today my dad's just fetched some cattle back. Uh, I think we've got another load to go for as well, so it's gonna be a busy old night. Fellas are all waiting for the feed. Just been opening the gates so we can get on. It's mix of mention, it's two people, Robert Stewart and Winston Foster, um, who I, I did put on the board over there, but I just wanted to do it again because it was quite a large amount from Winston. Thank you very much for your donation in euros as well so i'm guessing from ireland 
Um, if anybody else wants to support Yorkshire Air Ambulance and give a bit of money and get on them videos, then there's a link in the description below. So, um, yeah, business. Thanks, guys. By the sounds of it, I've got to go for the second Lord Cattle, um, which is going to push me in to be quite late tonight. So, um, hopefully you've liked today's video. If you have, remember to press like and subscribe because it, it, it helps boost our channel and send it out to more people and they can see what the day-to-day -day, um, life on a farm really entails. Um, yeah, it's not the normal nine to five. It's starts in the morning and ends when it ends. Andy's still out in the field, he's mowing grass. Um, and so we're gonna get these cattle. We've still got a little bit of feeding to do. Uh, we're just waiting on. Look at them. They're waiting for me to fetch some meal to them. So I better sort them out with a bucket. And um, yeah, uh, thanks for watching everyone. Cheery bye. Apologies if it's not edited well today because um, I'm just going to probably stick it together because I ain't got time to do it all. So yeah, apologies. But um, yeah, thanks for watching again.